Nothing beats the flavor like fresh from the garden tomatoes, and you can get an earlier start by growing your seeds indoors. Hi, I'm Melinda Myers, gardening expert, here with some tips on starting tomatoes and growing them indoors. First, you might want to consider starting from seeds. It gives you a wider selection, and it allows you to start the plants indoors so you can move them outside when the air and soil temperatures are warm. Great varieties available from garden centers and garden catalogs. You may opt to buy transplants. You may get small seedlings like this, a little less expensive, and you can get six for a fairly reasonable price. Or go to a larger size transplant so you get a little bit jump, bigger jump start. And any more, we can find them bigger, almost ready to go right in the pot or the garden as well. Once you get your seeds, then you're gonna to need to give them light, warm soil temperatures and moisture to get them started growing. Look for a well-drained, sterile potting mix for best results. Get your seeds growing in a warm place. As soon as they sprout, move them to a sunny window. Now you may wanna leave them inside, but you have much better luck if you can put them outdoors in a sunny location with at least eight to 10 hours of direct sunlight. Once you move them outside, you need to decide how you're gonna grow them. After all, tomatoes are vines. And you've probably seen the new topsy-turvy container where you can grow them hanging from a basket upside down. You can make your own or buy one of these slick little hanging devices. Or you can grow them in a pot. Container-grown vegetables save you a lot of space and you can use one of the really fancy obelisks available on the market so you save space, easier to pick, Fewer tomatoes, but they'll be free from insect and disease problems for the most part. Or you can grow them in ground and support them with a colorful trellis or a stake as well. Remember, starting your own tomatoes is a lot of fun and the taste can't be forgotten.